Richard Southern here in the 680 newsroom with a look back at some of the big business news stories of the past week. Wow, a record breaking week at the New York Stock Exchange. When the bell rang on Friday, the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq, all the main stock indices were at never before seen levels. Record highs. Investors brushing aside concerns about Trump and concerns about the U.S. dropping out of the Paris climate change agreement. Instead, they were encouraged by uh, strong earnings in the U.S. TSX pretty flat on the week. The price of oil dropped more than 4% and that kept a cap on Bay Street. I want to show you this. The world's largest airplane was unveiled this past week. It's called the Strato Lodge. The wingspan 385 feet. It's 235 feet long and 50 feet tall. Powered by six jet engines. It has 28 wheels. A whopping max takeoff weight of 1.3 million pounds. It's designed to launch rockets into space from the air, saving jet fuel compared to the process of launching goods into space from the ground. And the Strato Launch owned by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. Well, bad news for travelers who like a tipple. The hotel mini bar is on the way out. Yeah, you know the drill. You get back to the hotel late. Corner stores are closed, and there it is in the corner of the room, the mini bar, and you cave to the $10 Toblerone bar. But uh, no longer. Hotels getting rid of the mini bars because most say they actually take a loss on them. They take up space. They take up energy. They take up uh, a lot of staff to replenish the goods, which often spoil easily. Many Hyatt and Hilton hotels get rid of their mini fridges. Well, sometimes we see a gold mine in the most unusual of places like the deep fryer. When we see the oil bubbling, it usually means our French fries are ready, but for more and more people, it means profit is on the way. Yellow grease prices have jumped 230% since the year 2000. Old vegetable oil that's been used to cook chicken nuggets and French fries sounds a little gross, but the market for it is booming because it's increasingly being turned into biodiesel. They repurpose it in the U.S. last year. 1.4 billion pounds of used fryer grease was turned into biodiesel. Domino's Pizza making big news this past week. They're starting to deliver pizzas now in 10 minutes or less. This is in Australia and New Zealand where they're testing out this new process. After you place your order, the cooks go to work, lickety splits, quickly sprinkling on the toppings. The pizza then hits a high temperature oven where it cooks for just two minutes. Uh, it's then off to the delivery person who takes a high speed electric bike or a car outfitted with GPS to get the best traffic route or increasingly now even drones. They put the pizza pie on the drone and it flies off to you. No word of 10 minute pizza delivery is coming to Domino's here in North America. Finally, a Mexican businessman out with a new product this week and it could flush international relations right down the toilet. It is Trump toilet paper. The Mexican businessman putting this uh, product out. The slogan being used is softness without borders. He plans to donate 30 percent of the proceeds to organizations helping migrants entering the U.S. In the 680 Newsroom, Richard Southern, City News.